or his kind, he said. But he uh, said it's not about race. Just wanted to make that clear. <laughs> Just in case people out there think he's racist. That's not what we're getting at. Not that we know anyway. But let's talk about how the fact that he's playing Fox with that tag. That seems kind of ironic. Or Is that the word? I, I think know. hypocritical. If you're going to use a Bible verse, you're hypocrite. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you can't be getting Old Testament on people and then just playing Fox. With but the exact same thing the verse is against. But, you know, uh, it may be a little odd that he's doing that, but I'll tell you what, he is certainly clearing up the stock uh, pretty fast as well. Ooh, or almost anyway, back there, almost taking it. But That spite sword throw. Yeah, I like that. That was a pretty creative way for uh, Yum to get back on stage. Which, by the way, if no one gets the joke, he's Red Robin Yum. I didn't get it. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> That is oh, tag. that's definitely it. No, no. Was this tag Yum before he picked this character? I don't know. I don't know if this is like uh, I don't know if this is like his first game or not. I haven't I, talked so much. I actually, my original tag was a joke kind of like that. So what, I can't hate on it. It was, it was super bad because my name's Matt. Yeah. But I thought, I used to main Ike and Raw, right? I thought if I made my tag Mike Ampersand, people would understand it's a Mike and Ike, like candy. <laughs> that's cute. But they just thought I, my name was Mike. They didn't, so I was like, I gotta just change this tag. Okay. Ooh. Missing the ledge with that illusion. They, they didn't and, have uh, the big brain for that tag. That's okay. Mm. Kids are dumb. You know that forward air, uh, forward tilt, jab reset thing? Yeah. The first time you watch that, you're like, that's so cool. Well, well by, the like, time by this time that I've watched it, I'm like, that's so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> well, I feel like that's, that, that's some of the bread and butter jab block setups as a whole. You know, they look super cool and flashy at first, and then when you realize, like, that, you know, that they are true confirms, they kind of lose their appeal, you know? It's, yeah. it's like the Ding Dong or the Beep Boop or the Hoo-Ha or whatever, you know? It's just like, I wouldn't even mind if it was, like, a DI read that wasn't hard, as long as there was some way to get out of it, like some small... Wait, you can Ooh. tech it, right? Um, yes. Well, unless right. it comes out of a footstool. There are some setups okay. from footstool. Well, if you could tech it, then actually it's, it's cool again. I forgot you could tech it. But again, sometimes he can footstool and then he can't tag it. So, because if it's like footstool, soft air, double F tilt. Oh, wait, you're talking about the forward air one. Yeah. Yeah, no, you, you can tag that. Yeah. It's just really hard because you know it's a short window. And yeah. It's kinda... Ooh! Ooh! All right. Using the shine for what it's intended for and taking the game. My man. And he taunted. You know, has anyone ever Here reflected a Kamehameha in Dragon Ball Z? Because I wanted to instantly call him someone who had reflected Kamehameha because that's what I felt like that was. But I just realized that did that ever happen? Don't be mad. You haven't watched don't blame it. Me it's fine. I'm not blame blaming you. Okay. That just means you don't know just as much as I do about my question, which makes me feel better. Well, hopefully Twitch chat can give you an answer. But yeah, uh, Twitch chat magically appear. I have to get my phone out. We're gonna go to Smashville game two. Um, <laughs> I do think this is probably a better option for um, Yum. I could see him killing a little bit earlier here. Um, maybe being able to go for that, uh, what do they call it, the checkmate. Uh, maybe kill a little earlier here. But, I don't know, we see Zorax going for the fair footstool. Trying to end that stock early, but Yum is not having any part of that, so he's going to play it smart. So we see Yum doing a lot of work with these uh, 11 sword back airs. Just putting on a lot of damage, but also spacing out Zorax super well. Uh, which, is kind of, like I said, it's intimidating with that checkmate. Because Zorax could die at, I don't know the exact percent, but somewhere in the 75 ballpark. Plus or minus with Raging Force. You said that was with weapon? Yeah, yeah, that, that's like 11 sword down throw up there. I just thought it was left and sword. Le I thought it was L E V I N. 11. I don't know. I didn't it's say like when a little kid says 11. Ele <laughs> it's 11. the 11 sword. It's 11 sword. I'll tell you what. Actually, no, I don't, it doesn't oh. even have 11 hits. That would have been cool. Ooh, down smash gonna take it. Zorox hanging on the ledge a little bit too long. That roll just looks really bad. What, Robin's roll? Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to mid-tier rolls. Mm, that's the second time he's tried to illusion into that uh, arc fire. Not working out for him. Trying to get the F smash, but it looks like he got the weak part of it. Ooh. Oh. Good tech coming in from uh, Yum. Getting out of that forward air stage spike. <laughs> Ooh. And there we go. Draw to up smash. But Another tried and true. Used to be cool looking, but. Yeah. <laughs> when I play when I play against Robin, I think the character is pretty good. But then when I watch someone play against Robin, it's like this character just looks bad and stupid. 
you say that, but Yum sitting here with a sizable lead and all yeah, in one I down know, throw up there away. Like, this, I don't know, man. Like, that, like, have you ever people watched? People think Robin's a cool character. Yeah. Um, I, how? I don't know. Ask, ask Catherick or someone. I don't know. I gotta Shout ask Catherick. Catherick. I feel like Robin's just a huge nerd. Well, in this game, at least. Oh, that was no. Cool. All right, Zorax, uh, knowing the percents, or at least knowing that that wouldn't be true with that percent, and being able to jump out of it, catching him in the vortex here. Gosh, up tilt after up tilt, not letting Yum land. What were you saying? It. What were you saying about this character? Robin? Yeah. Oh, oh that's. No. Um, <laughs> that was. Mm. Wow. Mm. Well, you see, Robin has this intimidating factor that makes you mess up your fox angles. And that's how Yum took that stock. Um, fun fact about other Robin mains. Uh, people tell me that I look a lot like Dath. I actually have a picture on my Facebook of me and Dath together. It is kind of jarring. He just has blonde hair instead of red. Yeah, I was going to say that's... that's I don't think I he's can't, rocking the goatee either. He doesn't so. have facial hair either, right? Well, that's, that's a new thing for me. I don't know if I, don't know if I like it. I like it. Do you? You're like a red-headed Tony Stark to me. All right, well, I'll, I'll keep it for you. But uh, Game 3 Lilat, uh, we can tell that uh, Yum is a man of culture. Um, picking the, oh, wait, no. Zorax would have picked this stage, which is interesting. Because he typically yes, hates so the stage. Since Zorax picked the stage, we have to say it's a bad pick and that he's just... Whoa. I thought it was, uh, I, the second I, I was worried, I was like... Yeah. Well, I, I'm just surprised he went here because uh, Zorax... Uh, you know, there's always the debate, ban Lila, don't ban Lila, whatever. You know, you can have whatever side you want to be on. But Zorax, uh, definitely not one who enjoys the stage at all. In fact, he'll actually get mad if we're playing friendlies and it's on, like, random stage switch. It's, uh... So I'm very surprised. I think he accepts it competitively, but, like, well, as, a, it, as a having fun thing, he rejects it completely. Like, no, this stage is, is objectively not fun. I can respect that. I don't know. I like playing on the worst stages when I practice. I know that sounds may sound no, dumb. No, that, that's I'm practice. Like, I'm just like, I don't know. This stage just messes up neutral. I don't even care about the jank stuff. Something I've noticed about Yum's play uh, here in this set is that he has gone for either down throw F smash or the checkmate down throw up there. All the percents that none of them would ever be true and never quite getting the read. So it's a... Uh, is that desperate? And then there we go. As soon as I say it, he finally gets it. Yum best Robin? That sword doesn't even sword sounds like a whip. It doesn't sound like a whip. Ooh. There we go. That time he got the F smash that he wanted. Unlike, I think it was game two or one where he tried that same setup. Didn't work out for him there. But here we are, even game. So what do you think about the name of this ship? The Lilac Cruise? Yeah, the cruiser. Um, I don't know. I, I, I feel as though it's probably a generic space cruiser, so it doesn't really need its own like special name. Does that make sense? Like it, it not I like the Great Fox. Like the Great Fox is important. That's like a bay. It's like a that's like a hub. Wolf just needs to step up his imagination. That's all I'm saying. Oh, it's no. This isn't a wolfen. Like the wolfens are dope. I no, love but, the wolf. Oh, wolf. This is wolf ship. Oh, this is like their hub. Yeah. It's just called the cruiser. That's what I think. Someone tell me if I'm wrong about. I don't. That. Yeah, I was gonna say I didn't know that. I, oh, there we go. I definitely uh, was saying that Yum was not getting them. I don't know if he was uh, mixing up the way he was following the eye or, you know, mixing up his timing or what, but it did seem that he got those uh, down throw up air confirms when it mattered. Zorak's getting fifth right, today said, and putting himself in the they top They said four. Lila is the name of the system. It's not the name of the ship. So yeah, the so it's, it's the so Lila system. So the stage system. is just named after 